or welcome in for game number 10 of the Elven Union run. Managed not to say pro elves this time. My goodness. Okay, so we are a long way behind on TV. 260,000 down on TV. And we are also uh, a long way down on games played and uh, not liking the look of this opponent at all. Humans with all the tackle and mighty bloat. I always say I think humans are a tough matchup for elves because uh, they take away your one big advantage of speed. Uh, normally I would say take... Uh, Take Eldra Sidewinder because Hypnogaze is amazing and this would be a, a game changer in this matchup. However, anyone who has tried to use Eldra Sidewinder in Blood Bowl 3 will know that Hypnogaze doesn't work very well. So I'm going to take a wizard instead. Um, I think it's a real shame because I think that Eldra is so good on the tabletop. He's one of the, he's pretty much the go-to star player for elves in my opinion. I think the rest of them just don't do as much for you. Um, They've got a dirty player. I don't have a dirty player. Do I take a bribe? Do I take double kegs? Double kegs. I think let's just uh, do that and then feel sad when uh, everyone is um, injured instead of KO'd. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I felt, I felt really defeated after it. And like in the end, like you... You still have to take responsibility for it, right? Like if you're trying to play in, in what is a very high level tournament, like which it is, like that's not Super League is I'm playing against literally like the best players in the world, right? Like and if I want to play in those games I've got to not make that mistake, I guess. But um but it's just a really like feels bad way to lose because uh, cause it, it wasn't a blood bowl decision, right? Like I knew what I wanted to do. And I think if I'd done what I wanted to do, and like, it's a thing that doesn't happen on tabletop, because like, I know like for people who don't play tabletop, it might seem like, well, that's just what you do on tabletop, right? You declare actions, but it's just a completely different thing sitting opposite someone and, and playing a game of Blood Bowl to playing a game online. Because cause I'm talking with my opponent about everything I'm doing. Like I'll declare things I don't need to declare. I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna pick that ball up. Like I just I just say everything I'm doing out loud by default whereas when you're sat on your own with a computer it's it's not the same experience at all so um so yeah it's it's a feels bad way to to lose it against such a good coach as olivier who's the number one ranked in the whole world on tabletop um and like definitely olivier gets it because uh because uh he's a a fellow tabletopper but it's only blood bowl in the end in it like you can't get too uh too worked up about it right even without you on your mic I could tell you find the handoff yeah because like all my every step I'd made before that was to make it possible to do the handoff like there's no absolutely no reason to do the three plus dodge if I'm not going to do the handoff um so like it's all like it's all really obvious and if you're on tabletop you're just talking about it all as you go like I'm always very chatty on tabletop like I'm always talking to my opponents um so it's just a different thing and it's again i will always i will always like tabletop better <laughs> but you can't play tabletop as you can't play as many games on tabletop as you can get in when you sit and play at your computer can you so that's the trade-off if you want to be able to play in there uh, many many occasions when you can't be at a fun tabletop tournament this is what we've got and yes, as someone just mentioned in chat, we have sweltering heat here, which is probably bad for. Oh no, we don't. Have, we do not have sweltering heat here. We have we have rain, which is good for me because now it's gone from a, th a rule that punishes the player on fewer the team with fewer players, which is likely to be me once they've taken some hits. We're both starting on twelve. Um, and now this is a situation that generally punishes lower agility, which obviously is them. British summer, yeah. And guess what? You take double kegs, and therefore what happens is players just get injured instead of getting KO'd. <laughs> yes, we've had this British summer even here today where I am. Had a bit of sunshine this morning and then it's been raining. Yeah, I count it out a lot. I know, it's like, I, I like, yeah, uh, I was very, very, like, deliberate about everything on that turn except for clicking hand off. <laughs> I really, really planned that turn very deliberately, all except for the bit where you just click hand off to score. <laughs> it's 
Ah, oh, I thought for a second there the rain was going to give us a freebie. Not to be. God, there's so much tackle and mighty spell on this team. This is horrific. This is a very, very good team uh, that we're up against. I was going to say it's very good against elves, but I mean, it's got all the guard, right? It's going to be good. It's just a good human team. Like, it doesn't... It's not limited to, to being good against one kind of opponent. Uh, do we throw straight in here and try and get on the ball with the sidestep? Or take the blitz here? Like this gives us more angle. But I think maybe I like getting in the ball carrier's face here. Especially with the wizard, because with the wizard there's... Um, if they bunch up too much, we can punish that. And if they don't bunch up too much, then we can just generally be annoying with sidestep, right? So, um... Ooh, armor break's nice. Wouldn't hate that. I wouldn't have hated it, but I was not going to put rerolls in, so I did that dodge first, which failed. Yeah, they've got guard on, like, everything. <laughs> guard on the thrower and catcher. I guess that's why the team value was so much higher than mine. Because, uh, because of the guard everywhere. Like, that's expensive guard, right? Like, if they've paid full price for it. This might be a random, because this looks like it was a first skill. This may be... I wonder if this got random defensive first and then took guard to go with it. Like, that would make some sense. Okay. Yeah, cool to dodge away there. This one as well, I'm guessing. Could take a one dice. And need a six plus. Just roll a six. That was a six plus. To be good, but they rolled the six. Six plus to be good, and a one in three chance of turning over. I suppose it was the same odds dodging, to be fair. Like that it's no um the risk of failure is no worse dodging. No frenzy, pal.
had two two to bundy the ball. Whoops. <laughs> I honestly didn't see it. Um which player? The same one who went for there on the um catcher. Was it a soft uh, was it a soft gate? I obviously just was not looking close enough. Oh, the blitz on the ogre, okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, yeah, you're right. You're right, because that was there. Yeah, I just didn't, uh, didn't, didn't look at it as the honest answer. Don't know if I would have gone for it. Don't know if I feel like I need to go for that yet. Um, but should at least have thought about it. Because you're still looking for a five plus to knock it over, right? They've got block. If it was a wrestle piece, for sure, but it's not. Okay, two re-rolls done, but they do get the power. Um, I'm going to be wary of the uh, Fowler and step out. Yeah, I feel like I don't. I I don't think I need to go for one dice hits without wrestle, yet. Maybe I'll get to that point, but I don't necessarily feel like that's what I need to do. This is at least worth thinking about as a wizard, isn't it? Um, if you knock the board down, it's a good wizard. If you knock down the back one, it's not doing much for you. I don't think. Well, I guess you get to do the frenzy hits. The one on the left is just bad if it's only that. I think I'm going to keep it a little while longer. Threat of the wizard and all that. Um, nice removal. Frenzy too. I miss they had Frenzy in amongst all the other skills. It's good to know. Um, just bang them out. That's the new strat. That's the new advanced advanced strats available here on this channel. Having a hard time playing against humans, just kill them all. One more. Boo. Not even a pal. Not even a death, sorry. Was a pal. Literally was a pal. I do want this because it closes that move back to the centre off. But again, I'm not sure it's like critical. Hmm. I mean, it's not a five plus to win the game, JLF. Like, it's only a four plus to pick it up again. It's not. It's not impossible to pick the ball up in the game. <laughs> but I take your point. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay holding on a little bit longer. We will see. We will see. Okay. Just done. Like, I'll be interested to see if they go for a quicker score here because the wizard, because I think that's also a thing that could happen. Four. 
for sure if we don't use the wizard they might feel like they need to just score rather than risk elves with a wizard doing them a mischief where's my block tackle random self oh right there uh, wizard options I don't think that's strong enough I think we'll keep that keep hold of that longer um safer block here uses block but i think i'd like to get that blitzer back into the action here so i'm going to not use that so i'm going to hold off that for a second i think i'm just blitzing here put the block tackle on you put am i going to put that on you no just stand that up Bring this in front. There's no tackle here, is there? This is not diving tackle, something clever. Good. Could we just kill another one? We haven't killed any of them, we've just been KOing them, but you know what I mean. Lovely. So what we're doing here is just restricting the number of free players they have to act. Um, like the size dip here is a fiddly thing for them. Do they want to bring players back and assist these blocks? They can, but then they're not moving forward. This one, you'd need to do what they're doing, which is bring in a guard to blitz to help it get out. Um, because we're actually up a player on them, we can use that to our advantage here a little bit. Does put the rerun... Ah, oh, that's such a shame. That had to be a six. They haven't got tackle on this one. Um... Yeah, still got them down to one reroll. That's good. Oh, have a good walk, Quincy. You're allowed to declare something as win game whenever you want, just ignore the possibility. You are allowed to, but the thing is that then the streamer can disagree with you. That's also allowed. So now you've got a risky uh, dodge here that I assume you're going to do off tackle, which... Uh, without which you have not got a closed cage. Do you make it, sadly for us? Oh, stepping in there, okay. Gets you the block. Which is not a pal. Now you can try this one as well on the side stepper. Do not. Oh, this is now a pretty tempting fireball, honestly. Because if we knock down either side, we've got the hit on the ball. And if we knock down the ball carry, then we've just got to knock down either side. It's only three players, but like if any of them goes down, it's good. Okay, got two of them. Scatter isn't amazing, but we can work with it. Let's put that side step next to the ball. And let's go in with the wrestle piece to try and get that out of the way. Let's just wrestle. It does what we need it to. Now, ideally, we will knock this one over. Oh, it's not as easy as I thought. Because the guard... I think we'd probably still take the one nice and see. I think there's more good possibilities here than bad. Good. Don't want to scatter it because um, scatter could go. Um, 
Skyter could take it back into a tackle zone, whereas right now it's not in a tackle zone. I'm going to declare the handoff and then decide if I do it afterwards. Like we're adding a one in nine because the rain, but if we hand that off, we're just taking that a long way away. Punished for my greed. Punished for my greed. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But like we're gonna have to do some other dodges to make the ball safe, right? And if you do that one in nine, then we can just take it far oh that's great so now that's not uh, freeing that up mm. two out of three ain't bad the wizard yeah no wizard did good job very very content with the wizard's work and of the two one in nines here much better to fail the handoff than the pickup pickup was around all their players at least here we failed in a square where they've got to come and do something about it oh they're not they're not even going to try and do something about it interesting last reroll territory here doesn't doesn't use it yeah i think so like it's it's like it's always like second guessing yourself when something fails but i think honestly the ball's going to go to a really good square if you make it. And even failing it, the scatter squares are mostly not that awful. Oh, wow. We're just going to come way around. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, obviously it's better to have it in your hand. But the worst scatter would have been, like, here, I guess, which isn't the worst, really. Okay. So you have got blotch steps. So really we want to hit you with either the wrestle or with our tackle piece. So probably with the uh, wrestle, I would say. Um, sorry, with the tackle, sorry, because it's on the right side. Do we just go for it? Two plus dodge and hit. Because that's off tackle to dodge anyway. Other option would be to get someone into that square, take that block first, but... I think it's probably just adding dice to avoid this 2 plus anyway. Oh, that's not ideal. And that's worse. Oh, well. Uh, okay, well, we may have found a way to blow this yet. Boo. I didn't even do the right player. I didn't even, that, was, that wasn't even the tackle piece. I've only just realised that I managed to do that with the not the tackle piece. Well, that's bad um, by me, but let's see if we can uh, uh, save it. I don't. Maybe I shouldn't reroll that. Maybe you just leave them there, keep the reroll for the pickup. I mean, I think probably we we're going to be in trouble anyway because it was two ones coming next to the dice. But yeah, maybe. Maybe rerolling opens you up to that one in thirty six fail, which is obviously very bad. But yes, I did I did think I had tackle on that hit, which I did not have because I uh had clicked the wrong player apparently. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Overall, not my finest work, I think we can say. Do they go for the 5 plus pickup here now? I think they probably have to. Or at least I think I would in their shoes. Have to is maybe too strong. Makes it. Oh my god, they snaked into the end zone. Well, this has been... <laughs> this has been a half. Um, Alright. 
So, who can score from them other than this catcher? Maybe it's just the catcher or the ogre? No, this player here can probably do it. Okay. Because the thing is, like, we can just go for the pickup, right? But really, you want to try and do anything you can to cover the fail state first. Problem is, there's not that many great things we can do to cover the fail state. <laughs> like, we could... We could do that, I guess. Probably should do that. Okay. Um... This is our only scoring threat at the moment. If I do that, we might be able to blitz that into a scoring threat. But probably we should go for the ball first. Where's the ball going to go in the dream scenario? Like there? <laughs> and someone's got to cover it, but who? There's no one to cover it. So maybe you have to come backwards and not be a scoring threat. We've got one scoring threat. We can try and get more scoring threats from here. I think ball safety has to come first. Okay, that's good. It's still not as safe as I'd like it to be, but... They've got some tricky-ish dice to roll. Try to get a second scoring threat. Get a second scoring threat, that's good. Um, three scoring threats. See if we can make this a better scoring threat. I have not actually blitzed yet, have I? This is our emergency passer, so we might be able to hand off to that and pass, since as we've established, blitzers have better passing. I think that's probably all we do. Probably all we do. Yeah, this is their drive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so no, this, this is going okay. This is going okay. The other nice thing about assuming we do stop them here, it's still possible they can score, but if we do stop them scoring, um, it uh, means they only get one chance at the KO rolls for these two players. See, I think I would have just tried the hard dodge to surf me. I think that's what I would have gone for. Like, it's a 5 plus. But I think it probably was their best. Well, it depends what they're going for, doesn't it? Like, the 5 plus might have given them a chance to score, whereas this does make it very hard for me to score, which is maybe all they need. Maybe that's good enough for what they're trying to do. So I think what we've got to be trying to do is run all the way around to here, hand off to you, and then throw. It's a lot of dice. It's probably not going to work. Um, is there any way we can make the dodge out here easier? Probably not. Because that's a red dice because of the guard. Ooh. Still a red dice, though. And we can't get an assist in there. Should we just throw some dice and see what happens? Not a promising start. Oh well. Still nil nil on their drive. We have used the wizard, so that's gone. But I 
Oh, both KOs stay out. That's really nice. Does that put them below 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. Maybe we did kill them. Maybe our elf punches were that strong. Wondering to myself how to play this drive. Like, is this a DACA drive? I don't generally like DACA against humans because they're fast. Um, on the other hand, they're also very punchy. And there are 10 of them, which makes their defense a bit weaker. But I think, I think it's, I think we want to take our heads in the line for that same reason. Because they're starting on 10. If we get another removal, we could be two players up. I mean, this is famous last words territory right before everything goes wrong for me. And they remove my players instead. But on paper, I think it's the right choice, maybe. On paper. Bang and foul, says Torquemada. All these bangers in my chat. How did I, an elf coach, end up with all these bangers in my chat? <laughs> Blitz. Oh, well, kick is good, so they can't steal it. The guard is going to be a pain for us here. And by reflection, what you mean, Jalev, is a mirror image and therefore the opposite. <laughs> That's what Jalev means. Easy catch in the rain. Good job, vitriolic monkey. Yeah, no, this is great. The guard. Guard's a really good skill, guys. Mm -hmm. Recommend it. I swear, like, sometimes in Blood Bowl 3, I'll click on these players and it'll show me how far they can move and sometimes it won't. And I don't know what, because I feel like I'm not changing things. Like, I want to click on that and just see where it can get to. Like, is there something I should have got selected differently here to make that show up? Because it's kind of annoying. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I think we can just stay where we are for now. Yeah, that player moved after a blitz. Oh, I see. So it's the blitz that's stopping me from seeing it. Okay. At least that's a reason. I can I can live with it as long as there's like a reason for it. And it'll go back to the next one. You're there. You're there. Now I'll bring the ball forward. Yeah. 
because like it's like sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not it's really weird but yeah the blitz clearly just like switched off all their like stuff showing for a turn how does jay live who like just seems to play much less blood bowl not less bubble less bubble three because because he hates it <laughs> How does Jaylev know all these like intricacies of things that are busted in it? And I don't. <laughs> I code things, yeah. Guess you should see them more. Okay. So we are 10 on 10. This was the risk with not daggering. They have got more punching power than we do. Like, as predicted, take two kegs. There have been no KOs on our side so far. You are always punished for taking kegs. Doesn't matter if you play tabletop or online. Taking kegs, always punished. So. Oh, we could surf that. Red dice though. Probably probably not worth. It does really feel like it sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah, that's annoying. Oh well. Was the risk we took going for that catcher? Just thought it was a nice juicy target and there was a chance to get the two dice on it without having to position any assists, which they have been using their guard to reduce the number of two dice blocks we had available to us, so. Thought it was worth a go. It's another removal, so we are now down players. Oh, that is a KO, there we go. We broke it. We broke the, we broke the keg rule. This is just a very good human team, isn't it? <laughs> just like looking at everything like this. Block guard ogre. Like if this didn't have block, I'd think about hitting it, but it has got block. <laughs> it has got block, and so that's not a good choice, I don't think.
you want to spend an extra two assists to hit that again, you can. If not, you've got to dodge off tackle. <laughs> All this kicks position. Very solid human team. Humans are like anti-elf at times. No, no, I, I think humans are genuinely like a good anti-elf team. Because they get um, Mighty Blow on... F Especially once they've developed, they've got, they've got it on their blitzing pieces without any problems, right? Like they have a strength skill available to them on a movement seven piece, which means that they can chase your fast players with something that's almost as fast. And pro elves are mostly movement six, remember as well. Um, so they've got the speed on four blitzers that can run with you. They've got the tackle mighty blow almost always. Um, they uh, will have some guard and you won't which even though it's not like guard is the most important thing in this matchup, as we're seeing, it still has its value. So yeah, I, I think they match up very well with elves. It's bash teams that humans struggle with. See, this is what I'm talking about here. Like, yeah, they knocked me over again, but those players could have been on top of this. And the fact they aren't, I'm hopefully going to be able to use to my advantage. Hopefully I say before rolling bad dice, but... Okay, Sarge. Hmm. I really want to hit this, but I think I shouldn't. I think I need to dodge that. Maybe try and hit this instead. Oh, hang on, where do you get to? Gonna be greedy. Oh my god, that's one dice. Oh my god, I missed the guard. Well, wow, that was in fact extremely greedy, but not punished. I did miss the guard there completely. So, well done, tree. Oh, okay, this is now a bit ropey. That's a bad snake. Now you've got a three plus one dice to scatter the ball out of bounds. Hmm. I should have dodged that. It was, a, it was a greedy punch, even with two dice, let alone once I realized too late that it was one dice. not looking yeah no they are gonna go for the ball here aren't they i was gonna say it's not looking certain they are gonna go for the ball but i think they are so it's a three plus three plus and then a very scary scatter fails the dodge makes it with the reroll. okay at least it can't scatter out Well, it can scatter out if they fail their pick up. <laughs> You've got to try to pick that up. You can't leave that. Makes the pick up. I think it's a pretty clear choice here. We want to go for it with the wrestle frenzy. I don't want it to go out of bounds, so I think we go this side. Okay, we've got the pal. Don't really want to catch this, but don't want it going out. Okay. What are we going for here? Are we still trying to store or are we just going to try and pick up and score? Because that, that affects where I put this. If we're just trying to score, I should just stand there. If we're going to try and stall, I guess we go here. And then we're trying to get to here. 
It's not looking like the world's greatest stall. I think we just try and score. And then try to play some offense, a defense in the rain. Okay, we got it. Oh, I thought that failed. Mm. Thought that failed. I think a few things going into that decision, just the score, um, including the fact that um, actually I want SPP on that player. Like, so like if we draw, we draw. It's not catastrophic, but we are playing in the rain and. If we went for a bad stall and failed it, then we end up with a worse deal, right? Like we, we might lose, we might draw, we don't even get the SPP, at least this way. The worst case is a draw and we've got the SPP. So that was my calculation for that, if anyone was wondering. And I'm sure you were. All of you waiting with bated breath to hear my explanation. I don't think it's a shit human team. It's probably an expensive human team. I understand what you're saying. Like, with this hold up well against Orcs, probably still not, and it's costing a lot. But, like, isn't that just, like, the problem humans have? Because the thing is, you do need more guard to play against the Orcs. <laughs> We also don't know that this was 40k. Like, I wonder if this was a random skill. Because this looks like it might have been first. I don't know which way they display in terms of, like, order. From left to right. Latest skill first. Okay, so the guard did come second. I mean, they might still have randomed it, but it becomes less likely. <laughs> I hope they didn't pay full price for defenses. Yeah, I assume they'd random defensive. And then they'd added guard afterwards. But they might have done. Uh, I went... Wrestle. No, I must have gone dodge then. No, I went dodge first. Dodge, wrestle, then I randomed frenzy. I randomed frenzy as a third skill. That happened on this stream about 40 minutes ago. Defense could be randomed, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Fail to pick up in the rain, stupid humans. It's like Kemri and Bull Centaurs. Four plus pickups never fail. Just roll a power strategy. Ineffective. Trying to go this way, they're trying to come back to the middle. Bang on humans, as established, a winning strategy.
Fail dodge. Not a winning strategy. Not a winning strategy. Would have been really nice to have that player there. Just uh, split the team a bit more, but oh well. Yeah, yeah. Basically, Jaylev, I was going through and uh, even having taken the general I wanted on that player with Wrestle, I was like, well, a lot of the generals for 10k really aren't bad, even as added skills now. And so I decided to risk it. And then uh, Frenzy I was pretty happy with. Frenzy was one of my, like, I think there were like four I said were my preferred ones. And Frenzy was one of them. Like either Frenzy, Tackle, Strip. Um, I feel like there was one other, but they were like, well, these all just let, lean into the build it's already got. Because it's like, obviously with Wrestle and Dodge, you want that to be a sacker. So Sure Hands would have been a bit annoying because I've already got a Sure Hands and also it doesn't fit a Wrestle piece. But, um, but yeah, like Tackle, Strip Ball, Frenzy really fit it. And uh, other ones fit it enough. Hey, Thelian. You see, that piece did start with block. Well, it didn't start with it, but it had wrestle, so it effectively started with wrestle. But I liked it anyway. Excuse you. Could you humans stop succeeding at things? Not a fan of the humans being able to, like, pick the ball up in the rain and dodge and stuff. Even though it's on tackle, does that just stand up? Probably. Um, what are we doing here? Like, we can make a pretty chain, but there's nothing we can actually do with that pretty chain. I think this is going to be tough to stop now, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Like, kick was fine. Pro, like, it's not amazing. But for 10k to add on to a sacker, sure. It means you can, like, be greedy sometimes. Um, Like, I wasn't... I wouldn't have been mad about pro. I felt like the only ones that were really bad were Dirty Player. And, um... There was one other that I felt like wasn't good. Ooh, we finally powered it. Um... Yeah, but I mean, like, even shadowing, at least it's on, like, a movement 8 piece, right? It's definitely not good. But for 10k, is it going to make you throw this piece in the bin? Probably not. Like, dirty players actually annoying, but the rest of them, you're like, well, it's kind of annoying, but is it? Oh, Dauntless, that was the other good one. I'm really up for Dauntless. Like, Dauntless on a, on a piece that's got wrestle, because I think with elves, actually... On my off-stream team this season, I random Dauntless on a war dancer, and I have found it so valuable. Like, it's done so much work for me. In a ladder that's got a lot of strength four teams that get in your way, like, a blitzing piece, having one blitzing piece with Dauntless, actually, like, really good. No, it's not my it's the same same distance. One, two, three. So you've got three twos together. You've got three twos together. It's the same. It's the same. to eat it but it definitely makes us a lot weaker <laughs> I 
definitely makes this a lot weaker because now you've still got three players and you've just got to go through that one player. Maybe I should have re-rolled it, but it's the last re-roll. I always random shadowing sadly, then I cry. Yeah. Well, often like often strip ball is like a sad random, but on a sacking piece, it's great random. Ooh, that's good. I think I would have re-rolled that for them. That has definitely blocked your options for getting out of here a bit. Um, here gives you double. No, I think we go this way and keep you tagged. Now I've only got these three players free to move. Yeah, well done, rightful, not falling over. Okay, you do fall over. Um, uh, maybe I should have sized it this way. Maybe now I'm looking at it because it blocks you coming out the top here, which is what you're going to do. Um, guess there. Got a couple of hours back here. Maybe oh, that's done. Two, two, four, one D minus two D to shove the ball out of the cage. Was that taking the frenzy all the way around to push this way? I can see that if it was. I don't know if there was another angle that wasn't. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe it was the right way to go. Because we're now probably looking at a hard dodge and uphill at best for this, aren't we, really? Can we get a one dice? Get a one dice if we don't do it with Wrestle. There's no guard on that side. So it's a five plus for red dice. Red dice are giving us what? A 25% chance to get the ball down. So it's a 55% and a 20%. Or we are here and here, five plus. 5 plus 1 in 3. It's not actually that different, to be honest. Because it's a... You've got... With this one, you've got four different good results on the dice, right? And, um... And you've got, um... Uh... Uphill dice. So you've got... 1 in 4 outcomes puts the ball down. And you've got the frenzy hit. The frenzy hit, could we make the frenzy hit potentially a one dice? Cancel that. Second hit is from here. Yeah, I think we can make the second hit a one dice. So let's go with this. Mm-mm. Is there any reason to try that? Yes, because we can do that on a one dice and if it pows, then we have only a four plus dodge in. Well, not to be, but it hasn't made it harder. So, in fact, it's made it easier. We still get the four plus dodge in. Nice, okay. Yeah, so four plus dodge in, red dice into one dice. Could be worse. didn't make it <laughs> oh well I think that was the best I think that was the best path we had that turn which is all you can do right um maybe you could have played the earlier turns better um I think the the turn when I took the accidental one dice on the throw thinking it was two dice I think even a two dice it was unnecessarily greedy and I should have just dodged it and I think if I just dodged it 
then we would have had a a better shot at stalling this a little bit longer and giving them a shorter drive, which might have might have got us the win. Obviously, we were, we did turn them over on their drive, so we if we'd been able to convert that to a score, it could have been a win. But um, no shame in drawing against a team that had like a big skills advantage on us. I don't think. So yeah, just not to be on this one. Nice MVP as well. Small drop to the SR, but no dramas. Um, okay. So, what are we going to do for next game? Don't think we're taking any randoms. We got sure hands on vitriolic monkey i guess we should give them dodge next um we we've decided sure hands is good enough i think there's there's two paths we can take with vitriolic monkey we either random again and say if they get a good random we keep it if they get a bad random we don't keep it but i think a sure hands catcher is actually just kind of nice to have i think that's like a i don't think we need to random again to try to make it like valuable so I think adding dodge to the sure hands piece now means we've got a ball carrier that is going to be useful in lots of situations. So so I, I think we just take the dodge. Like it's also a nice piece on defense to have, right? It's got a sure hands to go in and get the ball if you sack it and it's got dodge to get to get it in and out potentially. So yeah, I think we'll just take dodge. Um, we can still decide to random a general again later on the same argument that we did for... Um, for the wrestle one because there's still like lots of good here but probably with sure hands you do just kind of want to make it dodge and block um so uh that's that i'll hire a couple of linemen in a second but for the youtubes that was game number 10 of the pro run if you're enjoying it hit that like and subscribe